breaking news and weather authority. This is 13 Wham News this morning on Rochester's CW in high definition. The biggest hit in Animal Planet's history. We're talking about river monsters. And with a new season underway, Evan Dawson spoke recently with the show's host, animal expert Jeremy Wade. Jeremy, good morning from Rochester, New York. Good morning, Evan. How are you? Very good. Thanks for taking the time. Tell us where you're coming to us from this morning. I'm actually at the National Aquarium in uh, Baltimore. I was here last night just talking to some people, so it's a nice place to stop over. And for, for you and your line of work, I, I imagine you see some interesting things there, huh? Uh, yeah, nice things to see here. I'm, I'm in front of a, a tank full of Australian fish at the moment, so some familiar faces there that I was, uh, I was checking out a couple of years ago. Is that a tortoise behind you? I thought I, I see fish. It looked like a tortoise, I think, behind you. Uh, the fish are um, <laughs> the one going past now is a barramundi. Uh, <laughs> there's also whip rays in there. There's some catfish. There's a few turtles. Yeah, it, it makes me sort of quite nostalgic for Australia. <laughs> and tell tell us about what River Monsters is all about, especially for those who haven't seen it. Sorry, I didn't catch that very, very well. Tell us about River Monsters. Uh, River Monsters, yeah, we're, we're now in our fifth season, um, which, I don't know, a couple of years ago that would have surprised me. We were thinking we were possibly running out of subjects, but um, we scratched our heads, did a bit of lateral thinking, and we've got a very, um, I think we've got a, you know, quite a sort of a quirky and interesting and strong series coming up. It's on Sunday nights, Animal Planet, 9 o'clock. Um, and the season, this one, it culminates in a special episode on Loch Ness. Uh, that's on Memorial Day. And I don't want to give too much away about that, but it, it does have a very uh, dramatic ending, that program. I just won't say any more than that at this point. What are the kind of wildlife we're going to be seeing on the show this season? Um, well, I mean, the thing, the thing about freshwater fish, they're very, very diverse. I mean, half the, half the world's species of fish live in freshwater, even though, uh, you know, that's, that's a tiny fraction of all the world's water. Um, the next episode up, we're actually filming in the cooling pond at Chernobyl. Now, people there, they're going to, well, the automatic thing is people are thinking mutant fish, fish with three eyes, <laughs> fish that make you think of... Homer Simpson, whatever. Yes. Um, we did get a very interesting result there. But it's, yes, quite a diversity. Um, again, not wanting to give too much away because normally we start with a story, then it works towards, um, we, we, we work towards revealing the animal responsible for the story at the end of the program. Very good. And, you know, it's interesting. And in, in one of the, the tease lines here from Animal Planet, it says, freshwater murder mysteries. That's an interesting way to describe it. Yeah, I mean, each episode really is a detective story. It starts with um, a fisherman's tale. Um, as, as everybody knows, fishermen, uh, they have a bit of a reputation for making things up, exaggerating. But there's normally, <laughs> I, I've found, there's, there's, a, there's a grain of truth there somewhere. So what I do, I look into the story, um, try and look at it from my scientific point of view as, as well. I used to be a biology teacher. Um, talk to witnesses, try and actually make some sense of what's going on, you know, what could have been responsible for this person being bitten or dragged under or stabbed by something in the water. And then um, following that sort of detective analogy, um, having assembled a suspects list, uh, boil that down to a prime suspect, which I will then apprehend uh, in the end and, and, and show people. So it's, it's also a little bit like um, uh, an, an underwater yeti hunt. A lot of these creatures um, aren't really familiar to people. Some of them do look pretty ugly. Um, fresh water's an environment where things don't really operate by sight. They tend to operate by feel. So there's lots of strange looking things with tentacles. Um, <laughs> so I, I, will, I will bring to light the, you know, the, the creature and then you know, the final thing, actually having, having seen it, I, I put it back to just go on its way. Well, it's, it sounds a little bit like a freshwater CSI. Thanks for taking the time for us. So we will be watching and we appreciate you hanging in there with us this morning. Uh, underwater CSI, I mean, that, that's actually a very, a very good way of putting it. I think, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very, it's, it's not really a fishing show, I'd, I'd say. Fishing is a means to an end, but, you know, as, 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 a, as a genre, it's sort of in a genre of its own, but CSI is, is exactly the thing. <laughs> very good. We'll see you on the air. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.